Welcome to NASCOM Technology and Leadership Forum 2024. Now there's been a lot of talk of how Gen AI is impacting uh, efficiencies, content creation and business models. But there is also a question of ethics of what more Gen AI can do. I'm now joined by Arup J. Paul, a visual artist who's going to show us what you know Gen AI can do in the creative world. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Arup. You know, people believe that Gen AI is like a magic pot. You swirl it around and you get what you want. Is that how it works? I, I mean, is it science? Is it art? Because we've seen a lot of application to create content, with yeah. text or video. So how do you how do you view Gen AI? Is it science? Is it art? Is it both? Uh, first, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I would say that I would argue that Gen AI is really a, a something, a tool that the artist or creator can work with, and it's nothing more than a tool, right? So it's about the creativity of a human being that will empower what you get the output out of it. So if you look at a science, um, if you have a technical, just about uh, putting it, uh, it won't really deliver you nothing, and you will need to own the data, you need to build your own model, and you n then you work with an artist to actually to get the best out of GNAI. Otherwise, the work that you expect from GNAI, that will be mediocre at best. So it'll fall short of what you want. Yes, definitely. It's not a magic wand. That's very interesting, but there is a lot of fear amongst creators that their jobs are on the line because the machine is doing the creative work that they were supposed to do. Um, is there is that fear founded? And there is a question of ethics. You said that you know you will create what you input. In what you're inputting is what you have in your mind, or you have some data which is your own. But so far, the kind of content creation we are seeing um, is not something that you have put in. It's available on the internet, right. and you're not giving credit to who made the original image or text. So. Um, how do you balance this? First, the threat of jobs going away and then the ethics involved. So I, I would give you a good news first. The good news is the creator should feel very proud and very, I would say, like like a should thank the genuine is here because it will create a lot of lot of jobs. And why I, I come to that? So the first thing that the genuine right now we are, we, are, we are kind of scratching the surface and that means that 80% of the work come out of Gen AI. It is kind of a, just a, as I said, mediocre at best. And so it's a kind of, you can use it, but not professionally. And when it comes to the next level, when the professionally being used, then the creator will be the key to the Gen AI success. To, so the creator will have a much more say what the next thing would be. And then the data privacy will be one of the most key factor in order to get the best out of it. So the creator can create a style. The style will be trained by the Gen AI. The model will be actually credited to the creator. And then the Gen AI will work on to make the different composition out of it. So the, in the process, the creator will get paid. The, the style who is working on the style part will get paid. And the, and the industry and the studios will be much more willing to share that kind of uh, uh, a model where every single part of that whoever inputted in, 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 in terms of will be paid. So that's a, that's a good thing. That's a definitely good thing. And so far before Gen AI, if you think of you're putting something in a WhatsApp or, or putting in a social media, it is getting stolen whether you like it or not. And Gen AI and with some other technology like blockchain and s other advanced uh, crypto uh, kind of platform coming in, in hands with that, it will help creators in a big time. Earn from everything that they've created. Yes, that yes, may be yes. augmented, but in the end they get paid for the original creation. Absolutely, absolutely. And that would be the future. So we are we are we are in a very early stage of it. Mm. But uh, give it a two to three years, the industry will reset that. So we are kind of uh, having in a like a this this a uh, carve of uh, you know like a gratification so, so so to speak. So we're like jumping on it and we're th getting so excited like this is like oh, we just put a prompt and something coming out. But this this of a, like a honeymoon phase will go down, will settle and then go actually fall. And then from fall to what it goes up, 
that's a industry reset and then industry will put on place a lot of uh, different layers of security in it and then the creator will be the most benefited after that so I would really say the it's a best time to become creator the best time to become an artist and if you have any art skill you should definitely get into JNAI to even brush up that how you can work together with the machine okay. so it's a what happens to costs to efficiencies for the creative fields uh, using JNAI and using your own data um, the, 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 I mean, in my talk also, I talked about it, that 34 years back or 35 years back, when the Adobe Photoshop came in, people really thought that all the graphics artists will actually lose their job and, you know, I mean, they're obsolete. So, uh, he says that it's other way around. The Photoshop helped create so many millions of artists, pr probably. And this is going to happen the same way. So, if you are an artist and you embrace the Gen AI mm -hmm. and you learn to work with it, you will be benefit and create your career much, much larger way than what you're doing currently. So I, 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 I'm, I'm, I can't thank more the Gen AI happen. Mm -hmm. And the, what actually the next step would be the industry artist and also, uh, so to speak, a little bit of the government help need, needed to kind of uh, navigate this um, uh, volatile stage and to settle into a standard. Mm -hmm. And that standard will come. But what is the future of creative arts and what is the future of society? Because, you know, uh, you have created something and I can't tell if it is your creativity or is it the machine's creativity. Plus, in a society, you know, all societies are not homogeneous. Uh, how do you, how does the machine cater to different taste, diversity and things like that? Uh, the, 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 that's a good question, but, but the answer is that the, the it's like what you feed into the machine, the machine bias is built by the human itself, right? So the, if you want to make the machine bias, machine will be biased, but it's up to us how we, we, we build that. So if we want the machine to be non-biased and serve the society in, in a more, more um, inclusive way, machine will do it. So we still are in the driving seat and we are driving the way we want to drive. In many cases, uh, at this point, that's not the, the scenario, but will change. But of course, in every technological advancement, even internet when it came 1990s, um, and still today we have fraud. And that's why the fraud detection is there, right? So there will be also fraud, there will be also um, identity theft, there will be identity uh, replication, that's one of the things will be. So there will be also, um, you know, remedy to that. So the techie will also build tool to identify what is, and Adobe is already, for, for example, doing it, and Google uh, also working with it, that uh, doing a kind of watermark, mm -hmm. what is generative art will be watermark digitally, and, okay. and, uh, and, and um, the machine will be identifying so if it's a banking application somebody is actually putting a video feed which is generated uh, the, the trust me uh, there will be an uh, security layer will identify this a fake video feed coming and they won't uh, let that go so uh, again more job creation right so mm -hmm. more more advancement mm -hmm. will come and it will settle into a f uh, place where you know this is generative and this is not and Ethically speaking, one thing will come from the studios and need to come from the studios. That is, uh, let's say there is a movie coming in in theater in five years down the line. Uh, all the actors are synthetic, they're generated. Uh, the movie producer and the company will actually put a disclaimer and say that it's a they're fictional not real. character. Yeah. And, and that's it. So Why so do you need that? Do people then connect and engage with things which are not real? Uh, uh, no, will we, our society we have, do that? We have been doing that. We have been doing that. Look, we, all the Disney characters or any kind of you know Marvel heroes, they are, they are synthetic. They are, they are, they are um, uh, like it or not, some not cases, real. yeah, they are not real. In some cases, there are even one and a half hour movies, 40 minutes of VFX, so which is, you know, raw computer generated. CGI is fully there. Mm. So uh, if the, the creators, they put a real disclaimer and say all the characters you are watching, they're all fictional and actually virtual character, and then you still adopt that. In the, we talked about behind the you know, scene that uh, the emotionally can connect with it. Um, I, I find it no harm. I mean, you are told they are fictional, and you still like to you know engage to with them. Uh, it's your choice. It's your choice. And um, we, are, we are free to, right? Mm -hmm. uh, nobody is forcing. And uh, look, Mickey Mouse is one of the most loved character in fictional, and people uh, still love it uh, after all these years. 
So um, I, I, I don't see it in any way harm. I mean, there will be also a point, maybe 10 years down the line, one artist will come and create a Shah Rukh Khan of virtual world and, and uh, will be the next uh, 30 years a hero, you know. Um, can happen. And, 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 and if somebody fall in love with that character, I think it's a, it's a great thing. Why? It's a creativity one. So connection's not going away in the future? No, 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 definitely not. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.